peace and love everybody want to hop on and share something real quick for those who um <clears throat> may need it may benefit from it <clears throat> prayerfully <clears throat> so um i'm currently studying the names of allah um greetings the names of allah and it has been uh, a profound study thus far um, about two weeks in and for those who may not know there are 99 names of Allah <laughs> and um, this is me being inspired to um, study just the names of God that, that shows up in various faiths so you know um, if it's the will of the Almighty after I I'm done with the names of Allah. I move to the names in Hebrew and the names in just different faiths. But nonetheless, currently I'm on the names of Allah. And so, something that I've, I have found as I'm studying them is this uh, core, this core frequency, vibration, understanding, this core understanding of that this this that we call god this that we call the almighty the creator the mother father creator um this that we understand to be the higher power it is the all right and we we say that we hear it you know god, god is all all is god you hear people say all is god you hear that utterance a lot of times all is god However, what you find is there's this difficulty accepting all as God. And I, you know, I grew up in a Christian faith and I feel that because of this belief in God and the devil, good and bad, right, wrong, then there's this subtle cognitive dissonance in the understanding that all is God. And this creates trouble. It creates trouble because once one perceives that something is bad or evil or whatever it may be, then it's almost like there's a there's a deletion of the reality that all is God. And so there's this dismissal of the value or the significance or the role that that thing plays that's been perceived as bad or wrong. And so oftentimes the natural or the nurtured reaction is to run away from it or denounce it or disrespect it, disregard it, whatever it may be. But that that <laughs> removes you out of the reality that all is God. And what happens is once you are removed out of that reality, mostly in the mind, once you're, mo you're removed out of that, then you're now removing yourself out of the grace. Mm, better way to say it. Let me say it a different way. Better way to say it. Once you remove yourself out of that, the perception is that you are now under some other kind of reality. And so resistance is created. Now you're now you have this resistance. So now this is what causes the sadness, the anger, the fear, the anxiety, and all of these different type of things. I wanted to change my words because the reality is grace is always present. Mercy is always present. <clears throat> and so you never remove yourself out under under off from under God's grace or even guidance. You may can't hear it. <laughs> you may can't perceive it, but you're never not under the guidance, you know. Um, but nonetheless, so now that you're in this state of now you have judged something as good or, I mean, bad or evil or wrong. And these emotions like anxiety, fear, sadness, anger, all these things show up. And they show up. They have a value. They show up as messengers so that you can see something, so that you can perceive something, so that something can be shown to you. And the 
purpose of it being shown to you is to come back to the middle is to get back to the to the light you know but oftentimes we stay in those emotions what triggered those emotions is usually the judgment of something being wrong evil bad hard unwanted dissatisfactory all of those different type of things so anyway so as i'm studying the names <clears throat> names come up like uh the almighty the, the uh god the um firm one the one who is firm the one who is the restorer the restorer the responder the one the oneness <laughs> you know all of these come up right and The value in understanding God in its fullness and understanding what this oneness is, <clears throat> is that it helps you to relax and receive a little bit more. Like just relax. Because once you really understand and then accept, even though things may come that trouble you, that stir you up even though the shake up may happen the stir up may happen if you still apply the reality of oneness in it you are able to see something you're able to experience something that's far surpass what your mind may be able to come up with as far as like how this is going to work out Oftentimes, the mind is so limited because of past experiences and the way we perceive those experiences that there's this layered, um, layered level of uh, <laughs> really disbelief. To be honest, it's a layered level of disbelief that is subtle oftentimes, and we don't even though we want to believe like we want to believe that all is well all is God you know everything is always working out for me you know all the things we utter that's positive that's real there's this subtle layer of disbelief because of past experiences and how we perceive those experiences so now as we experience uh, things in the present we now subtly apply the disbelief to those experiences and then it just becomes this loop of uh, anxiety and worry and fear and all these different type of things that if we were to just remember if we were to constantly remember that all is God all is one everything is meant because all is God everything is always working out because all is God um things are there's a purpose in everything because all is God um, everything is in everything that's created is created completely and so let's just look at and now we hear that and we say oh ooh, we get excited about the good the, the perceived good things that's created and we say oh okay everything is created everything is complete but even sad if if sickness or sadness come with sickness comes the healing with sadness comes the joy but the the stagnant place that we come to is when we get stuck in the perception of the bad or evil or and it may be more than a perception the feeling that comes with it the, you know we get stuck there and so um, I'm here to encourage us to remember the reality of God in all things and just know that all is God, you know, all of it, all the, including the polarities, what we perceive to be good, bad, all of it is God. And so because of that, there's nothing for us to fear. There's nothing for us to get stuck and worry about. And if we can just remember that, breathe. And proclaim it if you dare. Proclaim it if you dare. Not to run away from it. 
not to say this is bad don't proclaim it you know oftentimes i come from the baptist church so it's like when we proclaiming god especially when we talking we proclaiming god against something oh it's like ah you know it's like you going aggressively against something but in that proclamation value that which you perceive to be bad and evil value it it has its place it has its purpose there i think we will find um that that peace that that um overflowing peace that is like the rivers and the springs that just it just flows and overflow if we could value even what we perceive to be evil bad wrong all these value it because in valuing that we value the good <laughs> we're ready to celebrate the good but it, if 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 in valuing even what we perceive to be bad or evil or whatever feels to be wrong or bad, whatever in valuing that you acknowledge the almighty in its fullness you you acknowledge god in its fullness you acknowledge allah in its fullness so you are not that's how you don't make any separation or any kind of min you don't minimize God and it's only your minimization of God is only your minimization it doesn't minimize the reality of it <laughs> that's your minimization but what comes with that minimization is what comes with it and everything comes in overflow everything increases because of that that energy because of life force energy so hey you know it's like it's like if you realize the glory of God and you proclaim it, it's going to increase in your life. If you minimize it, the result of that will increase in life. So I guess the message that I want to relay is, you know, remember the fullness of God. All is God. All is one. In this oneness is goodness and mercy and grace and all these different type of things even when it don't look like it or feel like it but if you could keep your mind stayed on the reality of god then uh you could experience the peace that we talk about that surpasses all understanding all right peace and love y'all i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go just wanted to share that i pray that it was resonant for you i pray that this uh i'm gonna say this i pray that this retrograde is fruitful for us I pray that above all things, the read that we do is to remember. And in our remembrance, may our mind be renewed. May our mind be rejuvenated to divine mind. So that we can continuously, constantly, firmly, steadfastly, fast, steadfastly remember the reality of God. As we go about our way, as we go about our journey. Ashe. Ashe, amen. I mean, peace, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.